the temporary foreign workers program obviously has been catching the eye of many. People are concerned about it. And because temporary foreign workers are being hired over Canadians. The whole goal of the program when it was first introduced in 72 was, okay, if we don't have enough Canadians to staff jobs, we need to bring in the foreign workers. And they work with terrible conditions, a fraction of the cost, but they take it because it's technically better than what they get from back home. And they come, they come for a bit, and then, then they, send, they send them back. That's how the program works. And we've abused it more and more under Trudeau's guidance and leadership. But the interesting thing about Trudeau I thought was intriguing is he had a lot of critiques about Harper using this program. A lot of critiques that expanded too much. And we love the internet because we know we love to have receipts. Justin Trudeau, how to fix the temporary foreign worker program written in May 5th, 2014. And he wrote this whole column, lighten up Harper for taking advantage of the foreign worker program. We need to stop relying on it so much, he says. You have the article here. You can look it up. And it was really interesting. He said in his third paragraph, since taking off as Prime Minister Stephen Harper and the Conservative Party have transformed the TFW program, which was originally designed to bring in temporary workers on a limited basis, when no Canadian could be found into one that has brought in a large pool of vulnerable workers. As a result, the number of short-term foreign workers in Canada has more than doubled from 141,000 in 2005 to 338,000 in 2012. There are nearly as many temporary foreign workers admitted to the country in 2012 as there were permanent residents in 213,000 of the former compared to 257,887. And he goes on this whole article and just lighten up the Harper government over the use of the program. But you heard me right at the start of this. Where did this program originate? 1972. It was brought in. I'll let you do a quick Google search. Who was the prime minister in 72? None other than Trudeau Sr. Thought this was a great idea. This is low key. As many have said it before. This is a low form of slavery. It's close. It's teetering that line. You're giving people next to nothing for the labor. It's spooky. So the reason why you bring up this whole thing from 2014 is because the foreign worker program has only expanded under Trudeau. It's as big or bigger than it was under Harper. Interesting how that works, especially with this government, right? This is something to look at, The Guardian here. This was back in August, but we'll remind people of it now. UN Envoy calls Canada's use of migrant workers breeding ground for slavery. Canada's reliance on temporary foreign workers is a breeding ground for temporary forms of slavery. A UN Special Rapporteur has warned amid growing calls to overhaul a controversial program. The damning report from UN investigator Tomio Okutnaka found that deep power imbalances in discriminatory practice in Canada cuts costs for companies but exploits workers from the global south. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing here? It's very, very similar. Very similar. Oh, it's technically, you're overreacting. It's not, it's not close to slavery because we're giving them something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the slave owners probably felt the same way back in the South, back in the day. It's not free labor. We give them a house. They get to stay in a shack. We feed them. Sometimes. The only difference this one is a little bit better is because they give them a little bit of monetary value makes it not slavery oddly close oddly close where do we go from here well it's interesting um I, i'm gonna bring it up here it it's actually looking really janky on my desktop here uh but you can go to lmia map which is a very interesting little tool that was created um it's a redditor it was a redditor who creates a, who created a tableau map of the claims by province and industry in canada of like where they're using temporary foreign workers some ones that kind of were a little bit eyebrow raising was red space here in halifax 
Uh, it's a tech company and they are essentially an agency and they do a lot of work. Um, they work a lot uh, in close tandem with IBM. And you're telling me that these guys are using temporary farm workers. There are no computer programmers, computer science students from our local universities here at Dalhousie or NSCC who could fill one of those jobs. You sure? Or is it just because it's cheap to, to hire them? Not looking good. Fox Harbor is another place here in Nova Scotia that hired three servers and four kitchen staff. And this is a place that has their own airport. You're telling me they couldn't find anybody who wanted to work a sweet service job at a sweet resort? I know it's hard work, don't get me wrong. But man, the tips there are pretty nice. You tell me what is happening there. There's other places, obviously, agricultural and fisheries hired a lot of foreign workers, which that's normal. That typically happens and that's seasonal. And uh, that's that's a place where we typically do see it, and that's not a surprise. But there's just been such an expansion of this program since Trudeau has taken office that it's even worse than what he claimed it was back in 2014. Modern form of slavery. UN Rapporteur said it themselves. The Liberal government said, that's a bit of a stretch. You don't want to go down that path. Dang. Okay. That was electric, wasn't it? Well, we enjoyed it. Hope you did too. If you did, you can check this video out here to the top right corner right near my window. Get over, get over, get over. There it is. There it is right there. And if you liked that, you can also check this one right here. We love you. Have a good one. Peace out.